Guys, nowadays people are using WhatsApp for almost every kind of communication. And the most common thing for which WhatsApp is used for is for sending invitational messages or digital invitation cards. So guys, if you want to send invitations to two or three people, you can do it manually easily. But guys, if you want to send invitation to hundreds of people for the big events like the marriages or conferences, you cannot do it manually. It will take a huge amount of your time and energy. So here I suggest to bring in some automation. So in this video, you will learn to set up an automation to send invitations to hundreds of people automatically using WhatsApp's cloud API. So let me show you how this is going to work. So guys, this will be the flow of this automation. To set up the automation, we are using a Google Sheet in which we have added the data of the people to whom we want to send the invitations. And as and when you will add the data here, the WhatsApp and messages along with the invitations are going to be sent automatically. And to set up this automation, we are using Pavli Connect, which is an integration and automation tool, which is going to connect Google Sheets and WhatsApp together and uh, automate this flow. So guys, you can set up this automation without any coding skills or programming knowledge. So let me show you how you can set up this automation right now. So guys, this is a Google Sheet in which I have added the data of the guest to whom I want to invite in any event. So we have taken the example of a wedding ceremony and we are going, in, in, going to invite all these people on their WhatsApp. Okay. So now let's start setting up this automation. So first of all, you need to reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect to start with. And to reach here, you have to use this link pabli.com slash connect. And from here, you can set up your free Pabli Connect account in just two minutes and you will get 100 free automation tasks for every new month. So we have this link in the description. So sign up right now and log in to reach here on the dashboard. So here you need to create a workflow of automation to do that. Just click here on this create workflow button and here you can give any relevant name to this workflow. So I'm giving the name here as send invitations on WhatsApp. Okay. Right now, after filling the name, just click on create and you can see your workflow page is loading up here. And on this page, uh, you will see these two things, the trigger and the action. Okay. Here you can see the trigger and the action. So automation work on these two things. So the trigger is that event, which is going to trigger or start this workflow. And the action would be the response towards the trigger. As in this use case, the trigger would be uh, addition of data here. And here we are going to click on this button, send all data. I'll show you how to set up this here. So we are going to click on this button, send all data. And after that, the invitational messages will be sent to all these people automatically on their WhatsApp. Okay. So first of all, you need to set up the trigger. And from this choose app field, you have to choose your trigger application, which is Google Sheets in our case. So select Google Sheets from here. All right. And in the trigger event, select new or updated spreadsheet row. So it will trigger when a new row is added. Okay. So now it will give you this URL. It is called as a webhook URL guys. And with the help of this, we are going to make a connection with Google Sheet and we'll bring the data out from Google Sheet to here in Pabli Connect. Okay. So you have to follow these instructions written here to make this connection. Let me show you how exactly you can do this. So guys, this is the list of my guests in this spreadsheet. From here, I'm going to click on extensions. And here I'm going to click on this add-ons button and click on get add-ons. All right, so here the Google workspace marketplace will open up. From here, you have to search for an add-on which is called Pabli Connect Webhooks. Search for Pabli Connect Webhooks and install this add-on here. So it will just take two minutes to install it. As you can see, I have already installed it. So I do not need to install it again. But once you install it, you need to refresh your spreadsheet. This is an important step. After installing Pavli Connect Webhooks here, you need to refresh the spreadsheet. All right. After that, when you click on extensions, you will find this Pavli Connect Webhooks or add-on option available in the dropdown. Okay. From here, you have to click on initial setup. All right. And in the initial setup, you will find these two fields. Okay. First is the webhook URL field and other is the trigger column field. So uh, 
what are these so here in the webhook url field you have to copy and paste the webhook url that you got from your workflow and in the trigger column you have to fill the uh, la last data entry column or the final data column that you have in your spreadsheet so what is final data entry column let me show you so guys uh, here you can see i have these two columns a and b so here i'm going to start filling the data of my uh, guest so as and when I fill the data here in A column and after that in the B column, so uh, the B column will act as the trigger column. This means we are entering the data here at final point. Okay. So as I fill the data here in the B column, that is going to trigger the workflow and the data will be transferred. Okay. So this B column is our final data entry column. So just click on extensions, public connect web hooks, initial setup put here B as the trigger column and in the webhook URL field, let's copy and paste this webhook URL. Just copy this and go back to your spreadsheet and paste it here in this field. Right. And you can see in your workflow as we have copied this webhook URL here, it started showing this waiting for the webhooks response. So this means guys, now we have to perform a test submission. Test submission means we are going to fetch out the data from our Google Sheets to here that will act as a test data for us to set up this automation further. So to bring the test data here, what you need to do, just go back to your spreadsheet and from this initial setup, click on this send test button, click on send test. And you can see the test data has sent successfully and the data is this Ranjan Shah and the phone number. Let's check in our workflow if we got the data and you can see. In this response received section, we got the data from our spreadsheet. Okay, like this, right? So that's how we can capture the, the data. Now go back to your spreadsheet and click on submit here. All right, so we are done making the connection. Now here I want to send an invitation on WhatsApp to this person whose data we have captured. For that to happen, you need to use this action step. And from here, you have to search for WhatsApp Cloud API. Okay, this option is here, select it. And in the action event, you have to select send template message option. Then click on connect. And from this window, select add new connection. And here it is asking for the token key, the phone number ID and the business ID of your WhatsApp API setup. So guys, uh, to know how to set up your WhatsApp API in the developer section of Meta, you can click here on this here text or you can check the videos whose link we have pasted in the description from where you can check how to set up your WhatsApp or Facebook's cloud API to send messages on WhatsApp. Okay. So here on this page, when you click on this uh, here text, you will reach this forum page forum.pabli.com and here in the threads, you can see the instructions written here to make the connection. So there are very clear instructions given with the screenshots, how we can make the connections. You can follow the steps and here you will find these two videos. Also, first video is for setting up the WhatsApp cloud API inside Webly connect. The other video is to generate a permanent, permanent access token of WhatsApp cloud API. Okay. So you can watch these videos and set up your cloud API, right? So here, uh, it is asking for the generated permanent token and the phone number ID and the WhatsApp account ID. So I can show you my setup of WhatsApp API. So guys, I am here in the developer.facebook.com meta for developers page. And here I have created this app, which is connected to the WhatsApp API. The name of my app is my connect message app. All right. And on this page, uh, first it will give you a perm a temporary access token. So you can use temporary access tokens too, but it will get expired in 24 hours. So you can generate a permanent token for that. You can watch our videos and generate a token for you. And on this page in this uh, send and receive messages section, you will find this phone number ID and the business account ID. Okay. So just copy this from here, paste it here in the phone number ID, do the same for the account ID as well. Copy this, paste it here, right? Like this. And guys, generating the permanent token for connecting WhatsApp cloud API in Pabli connect is a one time task only. 
once you get your permanent access token generated you can save it and you can use that same token to make the connections again also in future with Pavli connect okay and making the connection by this process by filling the token phone number id and the whatsapp account id is also a one time process once you make the connection by filling these three things after that if you want to make connection again you just have to select this option select existing connection option and now you can select your existing connection from here as I can connect this is my last connection cloud API final I am I can use this and here you just have to click on save and you will be connected with whatsapp cloud API no need to fill anything okay so that's that is a one time task right here you can see now it is asking for the templates name so it is asking for the message template by which you want to send the message on whatsapp so to send messages on whatsapp directly first you need to create message templates here in your developer section or in your cloud api setup to uh, so let me show you how the templates look like here you can see i have this uh, step send messages with the api and here it is written to create your own message template click here so just click here on the here text and you will reach this page the templates page of your api setup and here you can see i have these templates created for various purposes and these are all approved templates okay so guys uh, here i am using this template let me show you this one wedding invitation template okay so this by uh, so guys templates are nothing but the predefined message structures which we can use to send messages on whatsapp to multiple people okay so before sending messages you need to create such message templates here and to create such message templates what you have to do you just have to click on this create message template button here and here you can select the category in which you want to create the template like the auto reply category the account update category or the shipping update let me select one i am selecting shipping update and here you can give a name to this template here you can select the language in which you want to send the message okay then after that click on continue from here and now here you can put anything in the header of the message okay if you if you want to send a uh, text you can select text here if you want to send media you can select media here and you can put an image in the header a video or a document okay and in the body box you have to enter the main body of your message so let's say i want to put here hey and here i want to address someone with his name with his or her name so you guys you have to add some variables in the message also okay so uh, by clicking on this add variable button you can add a variable tag in the message so these variables are going to change with every new message as the name of the person so let's say we, we are sending wedding invitations to many people so in every message I want to address the name of the person for example hey Rahul hey Shivam hey John or etc so this variable is going to change with every new message okay so you have to put these variable tags in strategic places and uh, after that you can continue here and you can add a footer also in this message and a call to action button also okay and here you can see the preview of your message template also when you uh, fill in the details you will see this preview here okay after filling all these things just click on submit and your template will be submitted and uh, after that let me discard this after that facebook will review your template and approve your template in just few minutes so after getting the template approved you can use that to send messages anywhere okay right here uh, the template i am using is this one wedding invitation okay so let me select this template from this list so in our workflow when you click on this template name field it will give you the list of all the templates that you have uh, that you have in your developer account of meta so so guys the template that i am using here for sending invitations is this one invitation underscore wedding template okay and this is a kind of message uh, that we are going to send to our people our guest like this okay so here we are going to attach an invitation card and this is the message so let's select this message from our workflow from this template name list 
So when you click here, it will show you the list of all the templates that you have uh, in your developer section in your API setup. And here I'm going to search for this invitations underscore wedding template and selecting it. And you can see the language code and the template ID is filled up here. And now it is asking for the recipient's mobile number, the header image URL and one, two, three and four body fields. Okay, so like you can see here in the message template, we have a uh, four body fields here. One is after hello, then please join us on this date and this time uh, here. You can see in the message, the body fields are going to be filled in the in real time like this. After hello, there will be the name of the person. And the second, third and fourth body field, there will be the date, the time and the venue. Okay. In the fourth body field, there will be venue, right? So to get these things filled automatically in every new message, we need to map the values of these body fields uh, here in this workflow. Okay. So first of all, let's fill the uh, number WhatsApp number of the guest. So we have received the test data of the guest here in the first step. So I'm going to map this label, this mobile number label here. And to map it here, we just have to click on this recipient mobile number label and you will find this Google sheet step in the drop down. And from here only you can see all the data that you have received in the first step. So from here, I'm mapping this mobile number. Then it is asking for the header image URL. So here I'm going to uh, map a image URL uh, of an invitation and let's map the body fields first. So first of all, let me map the name of the guest. Second body field, it requires the date. So in the second body field, it requires the date of the event. Okay. So here you can enter the dates manually like this. Okay. So wedding is a kind of event whose date is going to remain the same with ev in every new message. So I'm entering the data manually here and the timing would also be same for all the, all the for all the guests. So I'm entering the time as this 7 PM and the venue would also be the same. So I'm uh, entering the venue here manually. Okay. So these things are going to be the same with uh, every new message only the name is going to change. Okay. Now guys, I can show you how the message will appear by clicking on save and send test request. You can send a test message on this WhatsApp number, right? Let me fill the he header image also. So guys, I have entered this, this header image URL uh, like this. It is the invitation card URL. Okay. Now I'm going to click on save and send test request and you will see a new message will be here on this WhatsApp account. Okay. So I'm clicking here on save and send test request and let's see what happens. And guys, the message is this, you can see, hello, Ranjan Shah marriage means a new beautiful beginning. And we would like to invite you to witness it. And please join us on 19 June 2022 at this time at this place. And this is the uh, invitation card wedding invitation attached. Okay. So this is how it is going to work in real time guys. And in place of the body fields, the variable types, you can see we have the name and the venue details and the date and time as well filled automatically. Okay. So this is how it is going to work in real time guys. And we are done setting up this automation. So guys, the best part is you can use the same workflow that I've created because I'm going to paste the link of the same workflow in the description so that you can clone it in your own free Pabli Connect account and start using this automation instantly. Guys, thank you so much for watching our video and please, please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section. And if you have any queries related to this application, please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link. And guys, we are open to ideas. If you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business, please do let us know in the comment section. And if you like our work, please subscribe to our channel.